Welcome, guys, to another one. This is Jack and Coke. Got a little whiskey, guys. Alright. <laughs> so, let's get right to it. You guys remember that this is not a guaranteed way of upgrading. But it's better than RNG. And the main goal of this whole spreadsheet is to help uh, players roll better on their relics. This is just your disclaimer, okay? So on the sheet, on the summary page, we have all this data, right? All this data. All these numbers here, they represent the numbers themselves. So it's going to look like this, okay? So yeah, your first line, second line, third line, fourth line. That's what the numbers mean. All you're doing is predicting your upgrades using the data we recorded. Um, if you need a more in-depth explanation, please look at the videos I'm going to put on the screen right now. But, uh, with that said, and to use this data, all you got to do is like, okay, uh, upgrade a, a relic that has three subsets. Alright. Okay, from here, okay guys, you are now on the fourth line. So that automatic automatically makes it like okay four. So on the string search bar, I'm gonna type in four. See four? Okay. And then from there, uh, you just follow follow along, right? So you predict. This this is why it's not 100% guaranteed to work because sometimes the percents are so close to get to each other. But hey, this is better than uh, dealing with uh, pure RNG because you know your probabilities and then you could do the same with uh, any other relic right say you had like a two line relic okay, it's upgraded like this now you're on the third line what the freaking do right uh, from there you would type in here three also remember you could switch relics okay you could switch relics so my string is three Okay, starting with three. So from there, because I added that subset, right? I added that subset to a two-line relic. And that forces my upgraded line to the third line. Okay? And then from there, we just, you know, go along the predicted path of the game itself. So say I upgraded this, right? That was three, three. Because I put it, I moved the line to three. And it's three. I got three. So three, three. And it's the most common thing today. Uh, you're going getting your probabilities from other players so if it happens to us it'll happen for you that's the theory and it's a big part of how gaming is coded gotcha games are coded so everything that's rng is server side sadly we cannot look at that server side data because we're not there this is uh, also a reason why hoyoverse wanted it this way they wanted the, the RNG to be server-side, not client-side. If it's client-side, everyone would be hacking their relics like no other. Or let alone hacking their summons. Would you imagine that? Everything, five-star. One, each, each summon, five-star. They don't want that. They don't want to lose money. So how they make money? They put the RNG on the server. That's pretty much it, yeah? Alright. And I'm going to get this to plus six. 4-1, hey, that's fine. How do I... 4-1. Alright. And then... On the sheet. 4-1, four, 4 or 2 is most probable. So 2 or 4, two or four next. Lines, 2 or 4 next. Alright. Remember that you can switch. Uh, let's look for a relic that has decent substats on lines 2 or 4. Here, this one. We're gonna do this one. With the next expected lines to be 2 or 4. Let's do it. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, whatever. 3. <laughs> oh, man. That was bad. But, that's fine. Uh, oh, I did hit the lowest. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. But I'm not going to give up hope yet. I'm not going to give up hope yet. 4, 1, 3, 1... 4, 1, 3, 2, or 4 again. Lines 2 or 4 again. With the least likely being one lines 1 or 3. 
remember, yeah, these percents are here, but it doesn't mean you're always going to hit the highest percent. You can still, with bad luck, you can still hit the lowest percent, all right? All right. We're going to do it. Three, two, one, go. All right, attack percent. Hey. Uh, that was two. All right. Then I'm going to repeat the process. So on and so forth. Okay. The plus six. Hit four two. Hey. Four two. All right. Hey. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I should uh, re log. <laughs> but whatever. The next expected line to be uh, one or two according to the sheet. Let's go. I got two. Hey. That's cool. Whoops. Two. Next one. I got four four. Four four. All right. Uh, there's gonna be trash, and then from the four four, what do we got? The two bottom lines are most likely, but I'm gonna look at America too, cause I'm America server. Said the same thing. Oh wait, is it the same thing? No, it's not. It's three or one on America, or two. Okay, I'm going back to all data. That's too confusing. So from my last test earlier, hold on, let me take a look at that. I had four four three one. Okay. Well, let, let's do it. We're gonna we're gonna gamba. We're gonna gamba. All right. We're gonna gamba. Out of four four. And we're gonna put that. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this. All right. Out of the four four. We're expecting four or three out of from all data, but from America data, we're expecting three or one. So this can be bad, but we'll see. Three, two, one, go. Mmm, that's right. <laughs> four, four, three, but guys, this is why you guys got to remember it's a pattern string, so it actually gets more trustworthy. Even though we have lower tests, it's actually more trustworthy to uh, go down the path. It's a pattern string. If you're just relying on the first percent, that's fine. It's up to you. It's basic. If you're just upgrade, like focusing on the second upgrade, you're just gonna keep on. How do I call it? It's basically just messing with near twenty five percent each line because look at the percents. Like, if you really want to do it that way, it's up to you. Uh, my uh, going down the path as we get more data, I prefer doing it this way because it's a pattern string. You know what I mean? We're gonna see if I can do this. Alright. Don't mind me switching these stuff. Just let me do it. There you go. 4 3. Okay. So, I wanna thank all the players that have been uh, contributing to this spreadsheet. There, we're nearly at 2,000 tests for Wednesday. I'm pretty sure we're going to hit that today. Uh, yeah. And you can see deviation. With that many tests, there's still deviation. Isn't that crazy? You would expect it to be 25% each, right? It's not. It's not. Because that's how programming pseudo-RNG is in any gotcha game. Okay, guys? This is now my Acheron. SSS. Triple S on Freebles. Uh, I'm not going to go on Sealy Land because they didn't update for Akron yet. But I am going to go for this right here. I'm going to go on Relic Score right here. And look, I am now rank 15 in the world for Akron. I'm on the first page. All I need to do is like literally get rid of this right here, this boot. I, can, I need to improve it. And I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Alright, with that said guys, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you learned something off of this. Uh, we are the only community trying to help other players get better relics, alright? You gotta think about that. We're the only group that's trying to help 
other players. We are not telling you to wail for your stuff. We're not telling you to roll better. We're trying to literally like, hey, hold my hand. I'm a, I'm gonna pull you up. That that was my goal. Like I'm already on the top, right? I want the players, especially the ones in my own Discord. I want them to be on the same level as me. You don't see me really acting like other CCs. Like, oh, just spend more money. We'll get up there. Uh, I'll be honest. I'll, the maximum I'll probably play this game is like two hours a day. Then I'm out to playing with my daughter. And yet I'm still on the top. For multiple characters. That's silly, right? <laughs> Alright. Until next time. Later.